Hey, this is Brian Castro with callcastro.com and eXp Realty. And I'm so excited you're considering selling your home. But how do you know what agent to pick, right? That, that's always the biggest and toughest thing to do is figure out what agent to go with because there are so many and some are great, but a lot aren't, right? You see homes expire all the time. And I'm going to be honest, I'm one of those agents that calls expired listings all the time. And I hear all the reasons that homes don't sell, why people like agents, why people don't like agents. So what I want to talk to you about are the three biggest complaints people have when their home expires and what I do to try and combat it to make sure that doesn't happen and to make sure that you know, you're happy and don't want to switch agents for any reason, right? So the first biggest complaint that everyone has about realtors is that the house was priced wrong. If your home's priced wrong, it's not going to sell. So when I work with you and I write up your first CMA, which is something we're going to do usually at the first meeting, sometimes I'll have to do a follow up if you have something really particular that I didn't notice. But um, typically I'll bring you a, a CMA on the first day with a rough price range, usually within about $20,000 of where I think your home will sell. And so far when I've done this pricing, I'm usually pretty close. So getting the price right is really, really important. If we price it wrong and we do a price reduction, it's going to look like we're open to changing prices. The home will sit on the market for longer. Typically, we'll get people that see kind of, kind of the blood in the water, right? And they'll start making even lower offers because they see that we're willing to reduce. So making sure your price right is really, really important. And I'm going to get you a really good uh, competitive market analysis to show you where the three uh, nearest homes expired at uh, in terms of price and area, the three nearest and best comps in terms of homes sold, and three best comps in terms of active listings on the market, and use that to help you price and determine where we think your home is going to sell at and about how long it's going to take based on the averages from other homes in the neighborhood. Second complaint people have is realtors don't market. And you know what? They're right. A lot of agents are going to stick a sign in the ground and they're going to put you on the MLS and take some pictures, a lot of times even with their cell phone, and wait. And I'm going to be honest. I think that we are in an age where that does not cut it. So for every home I list, there will always be a professional photographer. There may or may not be drone photos depending on the location. Uh, there will always be a 3D video tour and 3D picture tour of every home. The video tours don't always get uploaded before I sell, but I do take them. <laughs> the last several listings I had, they sold before I got the chance to upload the 3D video tour. Um, there will always be posting, uh, custom postings on all the websites you can possibly think of from Zillow to Redfin to Realtor.com to Craigslist and all of those different kinds of sites. The third thing people complain about is lack of communication from their agent. When listings expire, you will hear a lot of people say, man, I haven't heard from my agent in a month. It's because the agent gave up. Agent got frustrated and they did a bad job and they were not communicating. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you on the, every Tuesday, that's the day that I share results of the week. Uh, I'm going to send you an email. And when we first start working together, I'm going to give you a link to a Google drive file so you can see uh, exactly how your home's doing. If you're not tech savvy, don't worry about it. I'll send you a picture of it and also call you once a week to summarize everything that's going on, see how we're feeling. And in this little spreadsheet that I'm going to send you, it's going to show how many people have seen the home, whether that's on realtor.com or Zillow, what have you, uh, how many times they've clicked on your home, and how many times they have shown your home, as well as any comments that have come in so that you know what people are saying. I'm also going to do my best to get a hold of all the agents that do show the home, get feedback from them, and put that in this file too. So if you are kind of tech savvy and you can open the file or you want to open your email and look at the file, you'll be able to see everything that's going on every week 
and as a sum total, all the comments, all the all the information we've gathered so far um, on there as well. On top of that, I've never once heard anyone say that they wish their agent communicated with them less, right? Only more. So as we're going throughout the process, I'm going to be calling you regularly at a minimum one time a week. Um, I'm not going to set a maximum on it. I'm going to talk to you constantly, let you know when showings are going on, let you know what people think, and let you know how we're doing in the sale of your home. Because in our market right now, homes are selling in sometimes three days, right? It's really, really important to have constant communication throughout the entire interaction. And between all of the marketing and communication and um, the right pricing, I've never had a problem selling a home. They sell really quickly and it's uh, usually really easy. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Call Castro. I look forward to working with you. And if you get the chance, I'd love to meet up and show you some of the stuff I'm doing in person. I'm going to put some of the information down below with some pictures and things to kind of help you understand what I do. But in the meantime, call Castro. Talk to you soon.